All right, let's go ahead and get into the goodies, man. There's one feature on the list that I'm most excited about, and we'll get to it. But first, let's go ahead and bring up the change log so you all can see what actually changed, all right? So let's go ahead and hit this add button. Let's go ahead and hit add web page button. A lot of you might not be familiar with that, but that's also a feature that they've added as well. So let's go ahead and paste the URL that I want to look at. All right, now once I do that, it's going to bring up the web page here, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out just so everybody can see everything on it. And let's save it so we can see it without the lines. All right, let's go ahead and get into the change log. Text overlays, add static and dynamic text or to the red text from local files, all right? That's one. Video overlays, you can add a local file to one scene or whatever scenes you wanna add it to. You have new software encoded that dramatically increases the export process. You also have the option to increase video encoding quality for live streams on your faster PCs. You know what I mean? Uh, Facebook live support, you can stream right to your Facebook page or group. Um, this one is the one that I'm most excited about. Restream.io support. Stream to multiple destinations at once. Yes. You'll be able to stream from Twitch and YouTube at the same time. At the same time. I've been wanting that forever, man. I mean forever in Elgato software. It's, it's, it's so buttercream smooth that I, I I wouldn't want to do it with any other program. It's, it's way easier to do it inside of Elgato. All right, and you also have the latest versions of Facebook, Twitch, and the YouTube APIs as well, along with your typical bug fixes to make everything more stable. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the text overlay part of it. All right, first, I'm going to edit scenes. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to save the scene. All right. So let's go ahead and jump to a, a tab that I don't have anything set on to. Let's jump to number three. All right, this is number three. We wanna edit this scene. You see right down here where there's nothing. You wanna put your Twitter, your YouTube, your Instagram, and Facebook stuff, all right? It's simple. What you wanna do is you wanna hit this add button. First, you wanna hit edit scenes, and you wanna come down to the add button. You wanna hit add text. Now, if you have any file that's going to be showing your viewers what song is playing on your stream, you want to select the automatically update text from file option. Then you go and select that file and it will go ahead and take effect for that particular item. For this instance, we don't want that. We just want to be able to update all our fields at the bottom so it can give our viewers a way to contact us at. All right. So what we want to do is we want to highlight this. Let's go ahead and put scoop. All right. Highlight this. I want to change the text to red, I want it bold, and I also want it to animate, and I want it to scroll left. So it's going to show the effect right here, all right? So what I want to do next is just hit add. Once I hit add, you see the text right here. Of course, it's too big, so what you want to do is bring it in the middle like so. One of the blue lines on the outside, you want to scale it to whatever size that fits your particular overlay. And once you can get it to the right size that you want, and and how it's lined up, then that's how you want to keep it. And after you hit save, that's how it's going to look. And like I said, you can do anything. You can have it static or dynamic. Static is, is just mean it's going to have just your regular text. Let me go ahead and give you an example. And that's dynamic text, what we just did. So what you want to do, you want to hit edit again. Let's make it bigger. And let's go down and hit the tools. That gives us a, a chance to edit what we just have. All right, so we don't want anything, right? Let's do no animation. So this is going to be our static option. After we hit save, it's just going to be our text here. And again, you want to go ahead and resize it, and then you want to just put it down to where, it's, where it belongs. Hit save, and boom. Now it's clean. And you can do that for all your fields, all right? You can do that for all your fields. And like I said, if you're going to do this for your local files that's showing your, your music, you want to select that automatically from local file option. You want to select that button and locate the file, all right? So let's move on to how you're going to actually show the broadcast on two different things, aka the restream.io support. For this option, you want to go over to restream, all right? So let's go ahead and go over to restream.io what you're wanting what you're going to want to do you want to go ahead and sign in you want to go ahead and sign in for this option okay and for just just for video purposes I'm going to go ahead and delete this I'm going to go ahead and delete it delete the channel I'm going to delete this one I'm going to delete this one just to show you all all right all right so what you want to do next you want to hit the add channel option you want to go ahead and select Twitch or YouTube Gaming, whichever one that you're going to be using. For this instance, we want to go ahead and use Twitch and YouTube Gaming. So let's go ahead and hit on Twitch. It's going to actually do you want to connect to Twitch. And we want to hit yes. We want to authorize. 
after we authorize it's going to go ahead and have it there you see it here all right let's go ahead and add another one let's add youtube gaming let's connect to youtube gaming that's mine and let's go ahead and allow boom so we added two sources here now what you want to do you want to go ahead and minimize this you want to go back to the live streaming tab you want to hit the plus you see I already have my currently set up here you want to hit the plus you want to go down to RTMP all right let's give this file a name let's just put uh, let's just say the great one all right now you want to go back here you see right here it's going to ask you it's for you it's going to be blank but you want to select which one is closer to you for me I'm going to go ahead and go uh, US East Washington you what you want to do you want to copy this copy this and you're going to want to paste it right here all right now the stream key this is the most important part you're going to want to copy this key I'm not going to click it because it's going to show my particular key so you're going to want to click this key copy it and you're going to paste it here all right then you're going to hit add so just for this instance I'm going to go ahead and stream what I have currently set up so I'm going to go down here and let's up it and I'm going to hit stream all right so once we do that we're going to come back here and you see right here how it shows the views and it has the views here this is our current stream right here and if we go to any of these any of these options let's say like YouTube right here let's go ahead and refresh this screen as you can see right here it's going to show what we're doing as of right now all right we have one more feature let's say you have a pre-recorded video but you want to go ahead and talk over that with a live face cam you can now do that with the 3.5 beta software so what you want to do you want to hit edit screens edit scenes you want to hit the plus option here you want to add video hit the three dots to locate the file now for this instance for me I want to hit desktop and I want to go to my recordings let's just pick this this call of duty recording right here all right so this right here is the actual video now we can actually make this bigger just by selecting this and dragging it but as you can see my camera isn't there that's the other one all right so let's go ahead and push it to the background push it again and let's push it again to bring the overlay all right so there it is and if I hit save now I'm talking over the video yes for this instance my I did have a live cam at the bottom left for this video but for your instance you won't because you'll just have that video footage all right this is all the new features that I find very very pertinent for anybody who's trying to get their feet off the ground and be able to have some great content great master stream quality all right and then again it's your boy scoop anything you guys need hit down in the comment section for any questions and I'll be here all right until next time I'm out